What's up guys, it's Jared Tuck here. In today's video, I wanna talk about Ned Rigs. There we go, I finally got it to focus. But anyway, um, I just wanna talk about Ned Rigs, how I fish a Ned Rig, what colors I use, what setup I fish a Ned Rig on, and just overall, what are some tips to catch more fish on this bait? This bait right here has really just kind of took over in the past few years. It seems like everybody has a Ned Rig now. Everybody knows what it is. But just a few years ago, nobody knew what it was. First of all, I just want to say that a Ned Rig catches so many fish. If you don't have Ned Rigs, go pick you some up. And I'll talk about everything you need here in just a second. I mean, this bait is just incredible. It catches so many fish. It catches small fish. It catches big fish. Now, most of the time, you are going to catch small fish on it. Overall, it's just a great bait when the fishing gets really tough. And um, I often find myself turn into a Ned Rig before I start throwing a Cinco. I have a lot of confidence in it, and I know uh, that I can catch fish on it. And if you don't know what a Ned Rig is, it's basically just like half of a Cinco. You can actually use a Cinco to make a Ned Rig and put it on a jig head. But I prefer fishing the actual Ned Rig. Hold up, guys. The train's coming by. <laughs> this is uh, perks of having a dorm room right next to a railroad track. Finally, the train goes by. Anyway, guys, what I was trying to say is that I like fishing the Z-Man TRD, um, Finesse TRD, whatever you want to call it, and just the regular Ned Rig is what I fish. Here's a package of them right here. Just the regular Finesse TRD. As you can tell, I've loaded down this pack. I think I've put like five or six different um, packs of Ned Rigs and combined them into one just to kind of simplify things. And I love Green Pumpkin. Uh, I don't really fish this bait in many other colors. The other color I use would be the PB&J. I've had a lot of success on the PB&J, and I've had a lot of success on the Green Pumpkin. Besides those two colors, I don't really use uh, any of the other colors. Um, I guess you could use the black and blue, but I'm not really going to be fishing this bait in muddy or stained water just because it's such a small bait. It doesn't give off much vibration or anything like that. And um, even with the black and blue, it's going to be hard for those fish to see a little Ned Rig in stained water. So typically, I'm only going to fish this bait whenever it's clear water or um, you at least have some visibility so the fish can see the bait. But like I was saying, you can just use a regular Cinco and cut it in half and use the end of it and put it on a jig head. But I've tried that. It does work, um, but I've had way more success off of the Finesse TRD because it's made for Ned Rig fishing. This bait right here stretches so much. You can catch, I think I caught 40 fish in one video on the same exact Ned Rig, and that's crazy. I'll link that video down in the description below if you want to go check that out, but I caught 40 fish on the same exact piece of plastic, and that's just that shows how durable these baits are. They are really durable, but again, you have to keep them in their original packaging. Kind of got to keep them separate from other plastics if you want to put them in a box or anything because they'll mess up. The best thing you can do is just keep them in their original packaging and they'll stay straight and you'll be able to fish those baits longer. So, with all that being said, I like to keep it simple. Green Pumpkin or PB&J. The PB&J color, don't overlook it just because it's PB&J. It works. It gets bit. It catches fish. I think that was the color I caught those fish on in that video, but PB&J, it just, it catches fish. So buy you some PB&J, buy you some green pumpkin, and you will catch fish on a Ned Rig. Don't buy every single color they have. There's just no need to. You will catch fish on the green pumpkin. Uh, you will catch fish on the PB&J, I promise. This bait in general catches fish. The color probably doesn't matter so much, but buy one or two colors. Stick with those. Um, you don't need every single color they make in order to catch fish on a Ned Rig. So the next thing I want to talk about is the jig head. I like the one tenth ounce jig head. I like the one that's made by Z-Man. There are other companies out there that make Ned Rig heads. The hooks on the Z-Man ones aren't the best. I know that. Um, they're not the best quality jig heads. But they do, they are mushroom style jig heads. And they work well for me. Um, again, like I said, their durability isn't the best. But it's good enough for me. So there's three different jig heads that I use, three different ones, all made by Z-Man, and they're all specifically made for the Finesse TRD. I don't really use the big TRD. I would much rather just fish a Cinco. Um, you can fish the big TRD. I think the Cinco's better. If I'm going to fish a Ned Rig, I'm going to fish the small little Ned Rig. You can also switch it up. Other companies make plastics now to put on the Ned Rig, uh, like Roboworm has a Ned Rig worm, 
and that works good too. I've tried their like morning dawn color, green pumpkin, all that. And those work fine, but the Z-Man ones are a lot more durable and you can catch more fish on them. And from what I've found, the fish don't care all that much about um, what plastic is on there because it's so small anyway uh, that those fish are going to bite it. So about the jig head types, there's three different types. There is the regular exposed jig head. I'll use this jig head in lakes uh, where there's not a lot of cover on the bottom. Maybe I'm fishing deeper water or something like that. I'll use the exposed hook when I don't think I'll get hung up, basically. The next jig head type is the exposed hook, but it, it's weedless or it's called weedless and it has two little wires that come out from it. And I will separate those wires when you first get them, they're put together, but I'll separate those wires and it just acts as a good weed guard. I'll fish that jig head um, whenever I think there's a chance of getting hung up. It's probably the jig head that I fish the most is the one with the two wires hanging out from it just because it does not get hung up. It really doesn't. Not much at all. It will get hung up, but um, rarely. And so whenever I'm fishing around rock or um, wood, I'll typically use that um, jig head. So the last jig head I want to mention, if you're fishing really thick cover, I would recommend this jig head for probably grass and some wood circumstances too, like if you're at fishing laydowns with a Ned rig. I don't typically do stuff like that. If you are fishing like laydowns with a Ned rig, this is the jig head you want. And that's the completely weedless Texas rig style jig head that Z-Man makes. And I think it's called the bullets jig jig head it's really nice it just really keeps you from getting hung up i've found that the hookup ratio is much better on the one that has the two wires and also just the exposed uh jig head because for the most part you're going to be catching small fish on this bait it will catch big fish but you got to give it time it catches big smallmouth for sure i mean i've caught some huge smallmouth on a ned rig i've yet to catch a giant large mouth on a ned rig but with that being said i don't large mouth fish nearly as much as i fish for smallmouth i think i pretty much covered everything about um, ned rigs the different head types what colors i like to use and what size bait I like to use and what plastic specifically that I like to use. I think if you guys go pick up those head types and you go pick up some green pumpkin and PB&J plastics, the finesse TRDs made by Z-Man, you will catch fish and that's what I've had the most success on. The next thing I want to talk about is my setup. So this is a seven foot medium heavy. It's a favorite white bird select. This is just a spinning rod that I use a lot. Like I've put so many hours on the water with this rod. I think it's a great rod. It doesn't really act like a medium heavy though. It's more like a regular medium or even a medium light. I mean, it's not really that stiff of a rod. Uh, it's a seven foot two. And so that's a little bit longer than what most people use. But I found that the seven foot two is fine in a spinning rod. Depending on where you're fishing, if you're fishing around tight cover, if you're fishing small creeks or something, you might want to go with a shorter rod just that way you're not hitting tree limbs and stuff. But the seven foot two has worked fine for me. Um, I do all kinds of stuff with this rod, but I will say you definitely want to fish an Ed rig on a spinning rod It's just gonna be way more optimal than fishing it on a bait caster So you got your spinning rod. The next thing is a reel. I use a Fluger President reel um, This is the not the newest Fluger President, but the one before that I got a really good deal on that reel and Fluger makes awesome spinning reels. They're just great reels um, They're really smooth and they last a long time so what's really important about a Ned Rig, I think, is braid to a fluorocarbon leader. And right now I have 20 pound braid on um, just the moss green braid. That's typically what I use. And then an 8 pound fluorocarbon leader. And what I'll do is I'll tie my leader to basically where it won't go into the reel. So probably like a 5 or 6 foot leader. But I don't want that connection knot to go into my reel. So I basically just measure it off to where if this bait is at my rod tip, that connection knot is still not in my reel. So again, like a five foot leader pretty much. And then once that leader gets down to about two feet, I'll retie and put a new leader on. But that braid to fluorocarbon is just awesome. Uh, the braid casts so well on a spinning rod. It keeps you from getting all that line twist. It helps you feel the bait in the water better. Um, you're gonna feel the bottom better. It's just, you're gonna feel bites better. It's just great. The braid has good sensitivity. And then that fluorocarbon leader is gonna keep the fish from seeing your line. And it's also going to give a little bit of stretch um, so those fish can get that bait in their mouth a little bit better than if you were running straight braid to it. 
but you can run straight braid to it and you'll still catch fish, but I feel better and more comfortable using the fluorocarbon leader. So that's just a little bit about Ned Rig fishing. I hope you learned something from this video. If you did enjoy this video, then please leave a thumbs up on this video. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, thanks for watching, and as always, go take someone fishing.